ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் யுவர் ஃபேவரட் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி கோயிங் டு சி ஒன் ஆஃப் தி வெரி காமன் கொஸ்டின் தட்ஸ் பீன் ஆஸ்ட் இன் இன்டர்வியூஸ் தட் இஸ் ஹவு டு எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்ட் த வேல்யூ விச் ஹேஸ் டைனமிக் left boundary and dynamic right boundary so today in this video uh, you, we will see how to do that using uh, the jmeter tool and uh, in fact the regular expression is going to be the same across all the tools but still i would uh, i have the option of uh, giving you a demo using jmeter so i'm going to use a dummy sampler for sending a request i mean a response and then from that response i'm going to use a regular expression extractor and at the end i'm going to print and show you how does it work so uh, yeah before we move on to this video this is me asan chamukam i welcome you all to our little sala youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more and more videos like this and please do join my channel for more content in terms of supporting me and uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up and uh, share the video with your friends so yeah with no further delay let's go to the video so firstly uh, in fact this is one of the uh, uh, content which we have explored in my previous a uh, video if you haven't watched it you can watch that i will share the link as well so in this one um, let me just make a quick change so uh, let me start with this so so what happens is uh, let, let me just take you through step by step so that you will understand uh, how to uh, try this left boundary and right boundary in this rather than going straight and you do not know how do how do how did you arrive to this value right so that's the reason i'm going to have several uh, several examples and then from there you will understand how does this uh, dynamic left boundary and right boundary works and if you have any questions please do and uh, add that in the comment section okay so firstly i am going to extract the value 1 2 3 4 which is uh, which which has uh, abc dollar as the left boundary and dollar xyz as the right boundary okay and uh, let me disable this for some reason i don't want this for now uh this is the dummy sample okay, for, for let me explain you first so firstly i have a dummy sampler where i have my response data so this will be uh, displayed in the response and from this response i'm going to extract using this regular expression extractor and then i have my view results tree where i will print the value right so for that i'm using a uh, code colon okay let i think i need to change it here um yeah anyway so first let me run this and we'll see what happens so let me execute this and yep i need to make some changes here yeah so as i told you uh the x the value that we're going to extract is in between the dollar symbol so and the dollar symbol as the left boundary and then the dollar symbol as the right boundary and the value inside it which is within, within that value so this here is the regular expression expression which i have used and that is dollar slash which escapes the dollar and then i'm uh, extracting the value as which is like uh, backward slash d plus will extract the numbers or the integers which is in between the dollar symbols and then as right boundary i have another uh, forward slash sorry backward slash and then dollar symbol that will escape the dollar symbol and then i'm extracting the group one the first group i'm extracting right so oh yeah in fact if you want to see uh, how what is group and how to ex, uh, extract the values you can watch my previous video where i have explained about the different groups thing and yeah let me run this now and i'll show you what happens so if i'm extra running it so you can see here i'm extracting the value which is in between the dollar symbol uh, which is in in between the dollar symbol so the dollar symbol at the left boundary and the dollar symbol at the right boundary and i'm extracting the first group right so now we'll move on to the second example with the same so i'm going to use the same value same um, uh, response from that we are going to extract with the different combinations right so uh, in this second combination what i'm going to do is uh, let me remove the dollar symbol and uh, the regular expression is i have the x y z at the left boundary and abc at the right boundary so let me go back here sorry uh, let me make it to x y z x y z as the left boundary and then abc as the right boundary okay 
and then yeah so anything that comes in between the xyz and the abc will be extracted with the dollar with the group one so now let me execute it and then in the view results tree you can see one two three four so what did i do is i've extracted any value which is in between the xyz and the abc so this is the static left boundary and static right boundary now i will take you to the next part where we will see how to how we are extracting with dynamic left boundary and dynamic right boundary right so coming back to this x uh, the response so we have xyz one two three four abc so what did i do is i have added backslash capital d and then inside the values which is a backslash d a small lowercase d plus and then another backslash capital d so this is the value which we're going to use i'll explain you what what is this and how does it ex, uh, extracts the value okay so let me save and let me clear this and let me run so now if you see yep i have got the value one two three four i have not given i have you have just noticed i have not given the xyz or the abc but it has extracted so you can even see uh, that one two three four is nowhere anywhere in this code it's just extracted the one two three four which is the very first group and that has extracted the value right so now i will explain you what is that slash d and how does it work so now coming back to the regular expression so what does this backslash d mention or what does it match so the backslash d matches any character that is not a digit anything other than zero to nine and it stands for non-digit and then the backslash lowercase d plus so this matches any digit so the uppercase d will not match any digit but the lowercase d will match only the digit which is from zero to nine and then we have the quantifier plus so this means one or more of the preceding element so backslash d plus matches one or more consecutive digits and then at the end again a backslash d matches any character that is not a digit so let, let's try with a, a different example so what i will do is let me just keep it like only x and then a at the left and right boundary and if i execute it let's see what happens yep so you can see we have got one two three four and same way uh, let me increase it let me just keep as x y and then i'm going to keep just a at the, uh, let me make it as a okay so i have x y at as the left boundary and just a as the right boundary and let's see what happens now yeah so even now we were able to extract the value one two three four so what did we do so we have like two characters which is x y so previously we had equal amount of characters like x y z and then a b c but now we have x y and then a at the end so let me make a quick change so what i'll do is let me add a b c to the end as the right boundary and let's try this one so if i execute it and then go to the view results tree yeah so now same here so whatever the value you keep that will be extracted if it is a non-digit so if you have um, a non-digit value at the as the left boundary and as the right boundary you can very well use this so now we will try with another example and let's see how does it work yeah, in fact, I would uh, want to tell you that in this example, even if I use lowercase, let's try using lowercases and let's see how does it work because it says only non-digit, but that does mean the uppercase and lowercase. So let's try this one and let's see how does it work. Yep, so even the uppercase, <clears throat> the lowercase, everything is being extracted using the backslash uppercase D and that will pick up any non-digit so just remember so if you if the question if the interviewer asks you a question or if you have this question like um you have dynamic left boundary and right boundary your question should be are they did non-digit so if he says non-digit then you can do a bullseye this is the exact answer so if you have non-digit as the left boundary and non-digit as the right boundary and if you have digits as the value to extract then this is the expression so let me note it down so you have non digit as the left boundary and digit in the right uh, in the value to extract and then you have another non digit at the right boundary so this is the value you have to extract right so now we'll try with another examples okay so now we will see another combination so previously we saw a regular expression extractor with this combination of non digit digit and non digit so what if you have another combination which is you have digit non digit and then a digit so 
that's what you're going to do now. So I'm going to use a, a backslash lowercase d, and then as the value which I'm going to extract is a backslash uppercase d with plus, and then another backslash with d. So this will extract a non uh, a value which is a non-digit, which is inside the so yeah, so let's now see how does it work and let's see what is the value that's getting, that is getting extracted. So here I have a set of values and I'll show you what exactly will happen when I run this regular expression. So if I run this value, so if you see at the end, I've got the value which is ABCDF colon data. So what does it happen is I have the number 1, 2, 3, 4, which is the non-digit value. And then in between another number, I have the values of ABCDEF colon colon, uh, semicolon data, another semicolon. So any values which is in between the digits. So there is a digit and then another non-digit and then I have a digit. So this combination brought the values in between it. So this is again another way of dynamic value. So for example, let, let's see this way. I'm having values like one, two, three, four, seven, and I have values like multiple values. I'm, I'm just adding, I'm just increasing the combination or I'm just adding a value so that sometimes you might be getting the same question so they when you tell them that um, I have I'm using this and using this uh, as their left and right bound and they might tell you that what if uh, the 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 characters increase as like was the left boundary you have like 10 characters and the right boundary you have three characters so this will definitely work in that scenario so when we run this let me just show you what happens so when I execute it even in that scenario it will work fine so I think I have showed you two different uh, examples. One is with non-digit, digit, non-digit, non and then the digit, non-digit, and digit. So let's now see with different examples now. So now in this example, I'm going to extract the value, which is value to correlate. And in this one, I'm going to have the left boundary as CSR of token 1, 2, 3, 4 equals, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 as the, I mean, like whatever number, it can be just even, uh, four five six seven uh, as the uh, right boundary and what is the regular expression i'm going to use for this so i'm going to use csr of token slash d which is the one you know uh, the digit and then the non-digit is going to be the value that's going to ex get extracted and then we're going to have the digit as the right boundary so let's run this one this example and let's see what happens i'm running this uh, example and here if you see i've got the value which is value to correlate even though I have got a set of different values. So let's, I'm going to use the same value. So what I'm going to use, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the same thing again. And uh, I'm going to disable the previous one. And here I'm going to change the value. So this is just an example. Like for example, if what if it changes? So if it's like changes to five, three, six, seven, whatever the dynamic values you say, the dynamic values, it can be anything, right? And when we run this part, yeah, so every time I get the value, I, I get the value value to correlate. So previously, uh, we have got the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7 as the left boundary and right boundary along with the CSR of token equals. And now with this one, with this second one, uh, sorry, with the latest one, we have got a lot of values, a lot of combination of values. But still, we are able to correlate the value, which is value to correlate because of the uh, because of using the regular expression. So what did we do? What did we do? So just imagine two things. One is make sure you what do you get as your left boundary or what do you get as your right boundary and make sure what are all the static values in that and what are the non-static values, what are the dynamic values in that. So if you're able to find that, I mean, just anytime when somebody asks this question or when you have this question, just try to understand the logic behind it. Like what value do you have, whether it's a, a digit or whether it's a non-digit and then when you once you're able to find that then you it's easy for you to uh, extract the correlated I mean, the dynamic value so so far we saw <coughs> uh, values with uh, digit non-digit combinations right so now so you, you you definitely would have this question i mean the interviewer also will be asking you this question just uh, like what if you have a combination of strings like it has digits and it has both non-digits so what did, what, how will you extract it? So that's uh, why I have come up with this example. So I have this value, the value of numbers and strings as the left boundary with value equals. And then again, as the right boundary, I have another set of values with a mix of strings and numbers, characters and numbers. So how I'm going to extract it. So now for that, I'm going to use uh, this particular value, which is slash D, 
which we all know the digits part so here uh, i have the value which is i mean like i'm going to extract the value which is going to be a mix of digits and non digits so if you see i have got uh, digits and then i have got non digits and then i have got equals so what did i do is i'm going to use the value the same value with that combination so if it is digits and if it is non digits then anything with which is before the value equals will be going to be my left boundary and then the same way which is going to be combination of a to z and then a to z which is what i have as my right boundary so if you see i have got these values here like as right so it has to be either so it has to be either one of these values right so if you see the pattern you can see whether it is even though it is dynamic there should be some pattern whether it has to end with digits or whether it has to be ending with non digits so i'm going to use this value here the backslash d plus d i mean digit non digit equals and then the value which i'm going to extract so i'll show you what happens here so when i extract this value you can see uh, i have got value to correlate asl so what happened is the values which is here which is asl also has got extracted right so at this point of time what i will do is i'll use another technique so i know how, like normally when the value that you're going to extract will be of a certain length right it can be 36 or it can be 22 or it can be like 48 or even it can be any amount of length so but that length will be same all the time it won't change because the anytime the server sends you it, the value will be dynamic but the length of the value you can even check in your uh, any of the system the value will change but not the length would change right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the length of the value so anytime when i'm extracting it between these values i'm going to set the uh, extraction length so that anytime when it extracts it will extract me the exact value which i want to extract for this scenario so here if you go uh, let me go back to this one yeah let me enable this part so i'm going to extract only the 16 characters which are between this particular left boundary which is a mix of non-digit and digit and then at the after the value after the equals i'm going to get the values which is again a mix of digits or non-digits which is dynamic i would say another way so dynamic so when i x run it the, run this part i'm going to extract the value to correlate yep so that's how uh, i normally handle this way of the digits and non-digits part so so far we saw about different examples of uh, non-digit digit non-digit non and then digit non-digit digit and then we have even see a combination of uh, characters with both characters and numbers and then uh, even as right boundary is characters and numbers and then we even saw a mix of like combinations of uh, different length right so different length of numbers and different length of characters so yeah that, that's how we are going to extract so it's, it's going to be very simple so if you have any questions i know you might have you must have some questions so if you have any questions if you really want to uh, try some different combinations please do comment in the comment section we'll see that in the next video so until then it's bye bye from us and your favorite little slide youtube channel don't forget to subscribe to our channel join the channel and until i meet you in the next video it's bye bye from us bye bye